Welcome to learning to eat healthy with simplistic motivation. All right, we are sharing in today's video how much fat intake should you consume daily all right we are also going to go over the different types of fats and give you examples of those fats let's go ahead and begin this information is being shared from who and that is the world health organization and that is where you can find it as well and they are stating that to avoid unhealthy weight gain total fat intake should be less than 30 percent of our total calorie intake saturated fat should be less than 10 percent of our total calorie intake and trans fat should be less than one percent of our total calorie intake we should replace it states or try replacing saturated and trans fats with monosaturated and polyunsaturated fats Overall, our diet should be neutrally adequate and contain enough calories to maintain a healthy weight. Now, fat is essential for several body functions. It is an energy source and it protects the skeletal and nerves. Fat also makes it possible for other nutrients to do their jobs. However, not only all dietary fats are equal saturated and trans fats can raise cholesterol levels and increase our chances of getting certain diseases now unsaturated fats support health and may be monosaturated uh, monosaturated or polyunsaturated sources of monosaturated fats include olives olive oil nuts nut butters and avocados love love avocados eat them for breakfast almost every single day sources of polyunsaturated fat include oily fish such as sardines mackerel trout salmon and herring safflower grape seeds soybean and sunflower oils nuts seeds and pasteurized eggs eat those as well often for breakfast i love salmon as well now trans fats are manufactured they are the product of a process that adds hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils to make them more solid another name for trans fat is partially hydrogenated oils. Trans fats are not essential and they have the damaging health effects. Sources of trans fats include fried foods such as french fries, donuts, pies, pastry, pastries, biscuits, and other baked goods, pizza dough, cookies, crackers, sticks of margarine, uh, margarine and shortening, packaged foods, and fast foods. All of the comfort foods we love, but we, we must leave them behind or cut them down tremendously in our effort to continue our healthy eating journey. Now, if any ingredient list on the food packaging states partially hydrogenated oils, it means that that product contains trans fat and you want to leave that bad boy on the shelf, push him all the way back and leave him there all right because trans fats are not part of a healthy diet and should be avoided at all costs all right make sure to share with us what you think of this information share with us any tips suggestions and don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell and come back for more useful information to help us on our healthy healthy journey all right and i will see every one of you again very very soon bye bye